Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fee, and welcome to the New Card Report. Oh, I think that's enough doom posting about Rage of the Abyss and all the things it will be bringing, so let's try to focus on some good fun stuff from one video coming from that set. Because goblins are kind of mid, uh, being perfectly honest, but they're goofy and they're fun. And I'm going to be talking about them in this video, even though they're kind of old news, but you cannot blame me, the Maxi took priority for obvious reasons. Badass Biker Goblins. That is the current translation name for this card. And what an amazing name for a card at all in general. One that we certainly will not be getting in the TCG. Now, you can obviously propose something similar enough, right? Really cool goblins is the obvious choice, but I propose being funnier about it. Totally awesome goblin bikers. Huh? Think about it, be good, be damn good. Oh, this is a level six dark fiend and the stats don't matter because it's tour guide. Uh, yeah, level six tour guide, I know. But if you control only goblin monsters or no monsters at all, you can at least normal summon it without tribute. It is a tour guide on normal or special summon, able to summon any level four or lower goblin from your deck. And that is right, Mr. President, a second tour guide has hit the deck. The first one was tour guide. <laughs> Even better, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one card in the field and then attach it to a Goblin Xyz as a material. Both of the good effects are of course hard once per turn because they're good. Obviously it being level 6 is a little bit wacko, but I get it enough for balancing reasons, he said copingly. Really I find it funny because thanks to their continuous spell and its ability to take two goblins and combine their levels to make them both a combined level, it opens up a lot of wacky spicy techs. You can even run a level 4 goblin as a garnet to get access to rank 10 plays, or this and one of your threes can get you rank 9. So you can play Enter Black Near for going first, or you can make that rank 10 negate from Legacy of Destruction. Verutus, the final bringer of the end times, because a name is only as good as the effects that it has, or something to that effect, I don't fucking know. Really, the comedy comes in, if you have a copy of this in your hand, and you have two copies in your hand, a normal summon one, and then summon out Mean Goblin, which can summon another goblin from your hand. You can then get two of these on field, which if you have the continuous spell, you can then make them a combined level of 12, and then overlay Hard Make Zeus going first. <laughs> Once again, not a good play, but a doable one, and pretty fucking funny. Being real, you can obviously use the spell card to instead make it become a level three, and then use the effects on the opponent's turn to detach, uh, you know, get, attach it with a goblin effect to summon itself and then the grave effect will activate and you can attach another material to a goblin to keep things going. It's a really solid card for the deck, even if it is far from perfect. Definitely going to be played and as a big gobonga enthusiast, I appreciate it. But again, please God name it totally awesome. Goblin biker, that'd be so fucking funny, dude. I would, I would, I'd kill a man to see that happen. I'll say it. Up next is Goblin Biker Grand Imprisonment, a quick play spell that tributes a monster to special summon a goblin monster from your deck, but that won't be able to attack. And when a monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from your grave and then detach any number of materials from your goblin exceeds monsters to make all monsters your opponent control lose a thousand attack for each material detached. Now it's playable for the first effect alone. You summon a goblin, it eats a veil or an imperm, and you can chain this get it away, resolve that effect properly, and summon out a new card from the deck, maybe like a level six that is a tour guide to get still two monsters on board. Immediately worth playing, even if it's not always going to be able to bait a hand trap in that way. It's not a bad card, it's emergency teleport. The grave effect though is actually really solid, especially because it's just a bonus effect on an already good card. Detaching a material from Bigabonga means that you can yoink a monster mid-battle, and if you detach that new level 6, you can potentially yoink two. Or even simply put, you can lower monsters attack on the opponent's field to either survive an incoming attack or get over them with an outgoing attack. It's just a really, really solid effect, and again, it's on emergency teleport, so it's just really fucking good overall. Impressively done, a good goblin card. You'll love to see that. You think they'll keep that up with this next one? If you answered yes to that question, you thought like an idiot, because the next card is Goblin Biker Grand Crisis, also known as Goblin Biker Global Housing Market, because topical joke. <laughs> This is a continuous trap that will let you target a goblin monster you control and an opponent's monster, or a goblin monster in your graveyard and a monster in the opponent's graveyard, and banish both. 
Okay. The other effect it has requires you to send this face-up card from your spell and trap zone to the grave to target five of your differently named banished goblin monsters and special summon them. Now, the first effect is fine. It's not bad. It's grave or field disruption at the cost of a goblin you probably don't want to banish. But goblins already have a trap that detaches a material to negate an effect, which synergizes with the deck way more and is better overall for the majority of cases. So it's not terrible, but it's not quite enough to compete with what the deck already has. And then there's the second effect that requires five different names to be banished and for you to have nothing going on in your main monster zones as in it's never going to happen for the overwhelming majority of players. But that means that Yu-Gi-Oh's finest and most inventive intellectuals will come flying out of the woodwork, screaming to tell you that this is actually great against Dimension Shifter, as if that is all realistic. First, it means that you got shiftered when you're playing goblins. You're already in a losing condition right there, but the duel's gonna suck anyways right out of the gate. I guess apparently that just means you turbo into that shifter to banish five fucking differently named goblins. Get every one of your uniquely main deck named goblins onto the field and banish those fuckers. Uh, then, I guess you maybe only need four and keep one on your field to have this flipped face up because you searched this instead of the continuous spell or the rota apparently. And then during your opponent's turn, you can maybe ideally get one banish with this stupid thing. Uh, you're probably playing against a deck that likes to play Shifter in this case since you got fucking Shiftered. So it's likely Kashtira or Flu or maybe Ritual Beast or Exorcist or something. Uh, and then you just get to fucking sit there with one banish against a deck that doesn't give a shit about banishes because it's playing fucking Shifter. After this, assuming you don't get your ass beaten by Fenrir and the gang or floodgated to death by M Pen or just swarmed by Ritual Beasts and whatnot, you then soul charge for five for no fucking effect, because what the fuck do goblins actually do by themselves? That's right, fuck all. They just summon other goblins, but your zones are clogged because you had to summon five, so they ain't doing shit. And even if you summon back and exceeds, you have no materials with which to do shit. So then you've just got five idiots on your board who are probably going to die in the battle phase. And fun fact, if you got shiftered, and this is happening on that turn after, shifter is still applying. So they go right back to the fucking banished zone anyways. And what was the fucking point? You just wanted to disagree that a useless effect was useless. That's the entirety of this discussion. Fucking sick, dude. Intelligent. I'm the idiot, and clearly I need to shut up because this is definitely a three of staple. Because what if you run into fucking shifter? Brilliant. And with that happy note, that's it. That's I'm just covering some goblins today. So thank you to the Elliot <laughs> Magnetic Display for supporting my channel. The best way to support me financially and the true duelist approved way to show off your favorite cards. How you want to go about it to get that fucking glare. Terrific. 15% uh, off promo code YGOSTRATS15. Uh, type it in at the discount code. Type, click the link in the description. However you want to go about it, I'd appreciate it. And remember, hit that subscribe arena because I'd like if you'd be the uh, like and subscribe. Not only will you be impressed with your spoken Italian wife, you'll become a true duelist. So please do it. I am now currently legally begging you.